Now it's time to connect the dots where we take a deeper dive into today's headlines. Concerns over the Delta variant have led to a major shift in the fight against COVID. But why this variant is so much more contagious than all the others? Let's connect the dots. The Delta variant continues to race across the U.S., but what makes this COVID mutation more dangerous? Let's connect the dots. When you take a closer look at the Delta variant, it doesn't look all that threatening. It actually has fewer genetic changes than earlier versions, but what it does have makes it very good at spreading from person to person. That includes creating an incubation period of four days instead of six, so people are contagious earlier. That means people infected with Delta on average pass it to six other people instead of the two to three people infected by people with other versions. So what mutations does Delta have? One affects spike proteins. You know, those spikes that make coronavirus so recognizable. The mutation increases the number of those spike proteins, which is bad because it uses those spikes to invade cells. It also has another one that appears to increase the viral load in patients, which would explain why people with Delta have a thousand times more of the virus in their respiratory tract. Scientists don't believe the Delta variant is any more lethal than other COVID mutations. The severity of disease people are suffering is similar to the original strain. But that doesn't mean it is not more deadly. Because it can affect so many more people and quickly, we may see higher death tolls. 